Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Hope everybody's doing well. So, just having a little fun today, uh, showing you guys, you know, what I'm showing you today. Um, I'm out here, you know, doing a bunch of yard work. It's been really dry out here, so the leaves are really starting to fall heavily. Excuse me, and it's pretty early in the year for us down here. Um, it seems, my nose itching, sorry. It feels like we really didn't even go into the actual fall last year until man like december january february i think is when the most leaves started falling it was really weird um could have just been a special year because it was really wet last year i don't know i'm still learning don't have a big enough sample size yet right um <clears throat> but in the midst of doing so i you know got all the driveway and everything blown out got all the leaves blown out and i got close to the dog kennels and i realized how crazy my dogs were going over the blower um, I don't know about you guys, but anything power-wise, any power tools, um, man, they just go crazy. If I break out the weed whacker, um, clearly this leaf blower is a trigger. My lawnmower is the, is the absolute nemesis for them, you know what I mean? Um, I used to have dogs that would chase my vacuum and things as well. Uh, I don't really have any carpet anymore. The only carpet I have is upstairs, and they're not allowed up there because it's all white carpet. Um, <clears throat> so I haven't seen that one out of these guys, but I'm pretty sure they'd go for it. Especially my male. He's just, he's hilarious with this stuff. But once I got towards the kennel, I mean, so much foam and everything was coming out of his mouth. It was just, it was hilarious. I said, I got to get the camera. I got to show my guys and my gals this. I thought it was entertaining. You know, we just, like I said before, we like having fun here. Um, it's not always the same thing, you know, and I, and I think that's a good thing. You know, I hope that's a good thing. I don't want you guys to tune in every every time and, and it's exactly the same thing either me walking to the back with the knuckleheads or me sitting here bumping my gums about something you know we try to try to mix it up a little bit right and we still try to keep things going when we don't have any puppies on the ground um as time moves on though we're starting to have more and more litters throughout the year so you know that's a good thing um it's a good thing for sure so and with that said you know if you guys are looking make sure you guys give us a call um, you know, we got some possible litters coming up, so you may, you know, you want to make sure you get on that list and just make sure you can secure your puppy out of it. Um, I know a lot of people try and wait till the very last minute. And like I said before, I got some people that have consistently missed out on litters and I hear from the same few people, every litter right about the same time. And, you know, I get it, but it's an, it's an instant gratification society. You know, I understand. I get it, man. I get it. Um. I didn't really play that when I got mine. Like I said, I just went and dropped my deposits. And to be honest, I just, you know, hung back. You know, I didn't call my brother and bother him or anything. When I called him, we just were shooting a mess about other things, you know, not about when when is my dog going to be there? When's my dog? When's my dog? Um, there was very little conversation about that and more just, uh, you know, conversation of building, you know, build, building a relationship and getting an understanding of each other and things like that. So, you know. It takes time, guys. There's a process. Trust the process. Um, and if you don't trust your breeder, then don't put down a deposit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I mean, if you're trusting me enough to put down the money, you know, trust the process. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to lead you guys astray. Um, you know, you guys can clearly go back and see the videos, you know, of people picking up their puppies and the process and how it went. And, you know, it's it's almost verbatim, you know, what they say. It's It's, you know it's very consistent so you know we pride our, ourselves on that as well you know i'm an older guy you know i've been in the workforce a long time i've been in management a long time so you know i understand that having good systems in place is key and being consistent is you know that's second to none you got to you got to have it you know the consistency is that's where it's at so i'm going to uh click on this leaf blower so it's going to get really loud if it's too loud when i'm checking out the video again i'll probably just mute it um put in some fun music or something I don't know or I'll just kind of let it go because you know I mean you guys understand what's going on and I'm not trying to talk while we're doing it so but I'm gonna get over here and pop this leaf blower on because these knuckleheads are just hilarious they really are let's get a peek at them before we get them going nuts the knuckleheads 
Looks like we might get a little rain today. They said we were, but they keep saying that. What's up, girl? Huh? What's up, girl? What are you doing? What's up, Cadillac? Huh? What's up, Cadillac? Yes, I know you guys are going to come out in a minute. Huh? Oh, look at these knuckleheads. Look at that little one over there. She ain't too little no more, is she? Sitting next to her auntie over there. Yeah. Once you go up the line far enough, that's the auntie. What's up, dude? Yeah, you ready to go psycho? Yeah. Even got her going, too. See, the leaves are in there a little bit, so I had already started. They are hilarious. They really are. I have a, such a good time with these dogs. I mean, you know. Even when my wife is gone, I just spend all day playing with these knuckleheads and, you know, just doing fun stuff when I'm not cleaning up after them and, you know, doing yard work and all that good stuff. But it is what it is. So I'm going to get over here with the leaf blower. hilarious I got nothing but slobber all over me right now like big globs of it coming off all at the same time these guys are knuckleheads for sure oh looks like wifey's getting home shh shh comes the wifey don't say anything we weren't torturing the dogs or anything like that shh. <laughs> well like I said we just out here having a little fun guys wanted to let you guys catch a little glimpse of that what come here Come here, I know. Come here, little mama. Come here. Yes, 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 yes. What's up, big mama? Huh? That's my sweet baby. Yes, 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 yes. My beautiful bear. Hmm? What's up, Bubba? What's up, Bubba? Come here. What's up, Bubba? <laughs> yeah. What you doing, bear? Huh? Come here, bear. Come here, bear. Yes. Come here, bear. What's up, baby? Huh? What's up, Cadillac? Oh, yeah, I'm a big girl. I'm a big baby girl. You know, you get them all riled up like that, you want to calm them down a little bit, which really isn't going to work because I'm not finished blowing. Um, just got a little bit left, to be honest. Maybe just a few minutes worth. Probably blow out the kennels really good, too. Um, 
especially the ones that are over here with the chain link, just because they're surrounded by that brick wall. You get a lot of stuff trapped in there. The frogs and the lizards like it, but my wife isn't too happy when they jump out on her and she's trying to wash kennels or just, you know, feed, water the dogs or anything. Um, now that's hilarious. You want to see something funny, you watch a lizard jump out on your wife out of nowhere. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, guys, we were just having fun today. Hey, if you haven't um, hit that subscribe button, hit it. Psh, hit the notification bell, see when we're dropping some good stuff, especially if you're waiting on litters. Um, that's a good way to know, too. Um, you start seeing those videos popping out. Um, you know you guys will know where we're at. So, hey, I hope you guys have a great one, all right? We'll catch you on the next one. Love ya. Peace.